RDR gear enhanced instructor belt. There are several models of this belt. This is a slick model. I'm gonna tell you more about it. Let's go range and shoot it. The RDR Enhanced Instructor series of belts. We make a slick, the original, and a duty. The slick is what you see here we're gonna talk about today. The original has the external tail capture where the tail sits on the outside of the belt. And the duty is the most popular belt that we sell for law enforcement, civilian market, et cetera. And that's the one that runs like so with the internal tail capture when the tail is on the inside of the belt. That's the best version of the belt because once the belt clicks together, it does not slip throughout the day. Before I get too far in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit what I do here at RDR. We're a soft gauge manufacturer. We specialize in products like this belt here, EDC belts, canine gear, plate carriers, placards, chest rigs, a full line of stuff, full line of holster mods, holster wraps, holster accessories, all which you can find on our website at rdrgear.com. Belts. We've been making belts now. These are 100% made in house. Uh, we've been making these now for around six years. Um, there's multiple variations of the belts we have on our website. This is, as I mentioned, the Enhanced Instructor belt, and this is the Slick. The Slick belt is a non molly belt. There's no external molly on the outside. This is a Type 13, one and three quarter inch wide out external webbing and of course our ever popular reinforced inner belt which is a 175 as well and this is a two rows of type 13 webbing with an internal stiffener and a five row stacked stitching as you guys will see here in the stitching the stitching is sewn this way so that when the belt is compressed it cannot crush so there's no way so even with a loaded system you can still see pretty good rigidity here um, that's three magazines rifle magazine of course a steel frame pistol the walther pdp uh, the new upgrade to this belt is our new mag caddies. Uh, on the belt kits that we have, we have a package where you get three, two pistol magazines and a rifle magazine. This is my personal kit, so I've added a third rifle mag, but these are the new mag caddies that come in the kit, and you'll notice that they are now cantable. So you can have it straight or you can have it canted, your choice. Um, so these are a fixed cant, you can have a little bit of a more vertical adjustment, but these are about the max angle that you can push these to. But what's cool about these, these are 940 compatible steel and or polymer magazines. They are fully adjustable with a tensioner here inside the magazine. So you'll be able to tension these as you wish um, and work that so that you can get them lighter or heavier, whichever you prefer. Um, and I was mentioned earlier, one vertical or canted and the new mag carrier. The benefit of the new mag carrier is the new mag carriers now will come left hand as well as the magazines will come left hand. In the past, the magazine caddy, because it was rounds forward for beer can deployment, we always just simply had them you just run the magazine with the screws going forward if you're a lefty. Now with the magazine kits coming left hand dedicated, we'll have those ready for you guys to go. 940 is going to be live and shipping on the website. We are working on other options like a 2011 that will be coming later this year, but there's some cool things with that aspect. Now you have, either if you're running, if you're a law enforcement guy, you're running a duty, system, you can run these. And then with a the front duty holster, if you're going running something for a USPSA, this is kind of more my match rig. I'm trying to get ready for the indoor match season as it gets cooler here in Utah. I'll shoot more indoor matches. I also have the class with Nick from Velox Training coming up in October. So I'm getting my PDP uh, jam on. And that's this will be a rig I'll run in that class, but it's more of a USPSA performance pistol class. So I'll run this in that class to kind of get some of the secret sauce from Nick at that class. Just a quick note for you guys, the holster is not ours. This is a uh, 
Blade Tech holster that we modified or I modified to fit our MH2 hanger. Um, the MH2 is the RDR gear straight drop uh, negative cant. You guys will notice when the gun is on the belt, it runs at a negative cant like so, and that's built in just by simply adjusting the MH2. We also have the UBL belt mod in here to fill the gap spacing between the 175 belt and the UBL belt hanger. So again, that's options there. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this package, if you order it, it comes with the two mag carriers, uh, not a third and the one rifle mag carrier. If you don't, you live in a state where rifles are restricted and you don't want the rifle mag carrier, just add a note to the order and you can get a third mag carrier no problem there. So guys, this belt is one of the more popular options we sell. We don't, I don't show you guys enough of the slick version. Uh, I sell a lot of this to law enforcement guys, especially here in Utah, who don't have to wear a lot of product on their waistline. All their pouches and everything are on the chest, on the plate carrier. So they're re usually running a gun and two mag carriers. Uh, and one of the benefits for the LE side and or civilian side is if you notice the mag carriers on the belt, they don't sit very far below the belt. And the reason for this is because they're on a tech lock. This is something that'll be preference to you guys. We are working on an elastic generic mag carrier, like a general purpose mag carrier. Um, the problem that I find with elastic mag carriers, let's look at the straight plate mag carrier here. So you'll see how this mag carrier runs in line with the rifle mag carrier. Oftentimes you'll have the elastic or the universal mag carriers and they'll be something they'll have like this much above the belt line, this much below the belt line, and the pouch kind of sits right even with the top of the belt. The elastics, I get it, it's a product market out there. A lot of the mill-driven manufacturers make the elastics we're working on as well, is what you guys want to see. So as you look at the mag carriers, right, that's why we built these the way that we did. Um, I've never been a fan of mag carriers that allow, that sit below the belt. like the high-speed gear tacos, uh, the kiwis, all this kind of stuff, you know, I prefer them to be able to hire up. Also the benefit of having them higher up like this, you have more purchase on the magazine. And that's a benefit there. This angle will clear a plate carrier as I mentioned earlier. So if you're gonna run the first two angled, the third straight or the first angled, the second straight, whatever case may be, you choose. Also when you build these out, it's on the belt. You'll notice how one mag carrier is further angled out and the one is further angled in. That's just the curvature of the belt that'll give you that option. You can space these out to whatever angle you choose. Um, and you can put that one, run one on the left side at that angled mag, run two straight up and down, whatever you prefer. That's a way you're going to find a way that that angle works for you. A lot of people ask for canted mag carriers, um, you know, and sometimes with like the ELS kits, they get pretty wild in the angles you can put them at. Um, but with this system here, this angle here, we find that really does benefit the majority. And if you don't like the angle, go back to straight your choice. You can run this belt with a Safari holster. You can run it with your version of a, of a USBSA holster, but this belt does come with inner belt, outer belt, the two pistol mags and the rifle mag carrier. All of that's on our website at rdrgear.com. These are currently on sale right now. They'll stay on sale for a while, but if you want the slick version, you can add a note, choose the slick model, get the mag carriers, whatever your case may be. Uh, we'll be adding more mag carriers in the future for 2011s and all that good stuff, but right now the 940s are alive, and I mentioned earlier, those will fit any brand of 940 polymer magazine or steel magazine, fully adjust for retention. Questions, email me, info at rdrholster.com. Hit me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, but that is one of our feature products here at RDR, the enhanced instructor belt with the new upgrade of mag cares. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, next time, be well. Take care.